What's up everyone, you lovely people, how are you guys doing? Welcome to the next episode of my Bloodlock Challenge. Right, in the last episode I got two Pokemon. I got Ralts, although his nature is actually kind of shit, because I wanted to evolve into Gallade, but I've already explained that. And I also got Moses! Uh, straight from the Bible, or the Quran, or the whatever the <laughs> whatever the Jewish book is, I don't really know. Anyway, in the last episode, I had, uh, some, some, some stuff happened, and I really don't trust this girl. Because she was talking to a ginger, and that ginger, I don't, know, I don't know about you, but that hair looked fucking malicious as fuck. And majestic, but yeah, let, let's, let's investigate this. In this great big Kalos region, there are many different Pokémon. I hope getting a Pokédex gives you a chance to learn about them. Yeah, but I already have a Pokédex, so why the hell are you talking about me about me getting a Pokédex? What the hell are you talking about? Anyway, I haven't done any off-screen training because I didn't have the time. Pedro Huzini, there's a place I want to go check out! See, so I'll see you around! Yeah, hopefully not, though. Um, there's something I want to talk to you about. I'll wait for you in Café Soleil, neighbor. Ooh, it is a date. He's trying to get in my pants as well. Remember from the uh, from the first couple of episodes, that guy was trying to get laid so bad. <laughs> Give him all that free stuff. I wonder what Callum wants to talk about. Why couldn't he just use the holocaster? <laughs> no clue, but it seems hush hush. I am curious about what's going on, but we should probably stay out of it. Uh, did you see his stomach wiggle when he was moving? <laughs> hey, Pedro was in. To get to capture town, leave the lab, turn left and go straight. That cafe so like Callum was talking about is over that way too. Yeah, that's fine, but I'm first gonna do some exploring my way. Cause that's the only way, that's the good way. Oh, actually this is like the big avenue thing that probably leads to the center of the town. Lumio City may be very large, but if you stay on the main streets you shouldn't get lost. I'm gonna go on a little walk! Uh, no, it's not- you, you, you shouldn't call it a walk, you should call it a roll, because you're probably gonna start rolling rolling off the hills and stuff. You fat fuck. The streets- the streets are wind and wonder here. <laughs> and did you see him wiggle off? Ah, it's so cute. <laughs> uh, so just let you know, come for a turn and cafe a over this- Are you- are you fucking retarded? Didn't you just explain to me where it was? Leave the lab, turn left, and there is- Ah. Oh. And, and there is, there's a fucking handy friend of mine standing right there and there- Oh my fucking god, do these people really think that I'm fucking stupid? They literally told me to turn left, and then once I leave the fucking lab, they tell me again where to go! This is fucking insulting, I don't know about you. Anyway, connect to the internet and go to a crowded place. Uh, hell no, I don't need that, I don't need no fucking internet. Bitch! <laughs> the skidoo makes a noise, what the hell- Oh, is, is, is the- Blackout still going on. Okay, so perhaps I am not meant to go ahead. And there should, be, there should also be a gym in this place, right? Oh, what's that? It's a skiddo. The skiddo makes the cutest noise as it sleeps. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that motherfucker. <laughs> Who doesn't like some good old goat meat? Now, what the hell is this building? First, I gotta figure out how to actually enter these places with all the shifting camera angles and stuff. Welcome to Restaurant Luna. Our flavors will never overwhelm your palate. Uh, if I dine here, does that mean that I get to battle these people? I guess so. Please review our recommendations for today. The double battle meal. Ah, uh, no. I don't think I'm ready for this. Like, this might be a little too much for me. <laughs> Another time. I don't want you to tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more. Uh, there's a cute romantic couple standing there. Oh! Wait a second, there was like a little map in the uh, in the upper left. That was pretty fucking weird. Now what the hell is this all about? This is a kisate, which is a Japanese word for a coffee house. I think it's a coffee house. It's basically like basically like uh, the Starbucks. <laughs> okay, from now on I'm actually also not gonna play with Tarzan anymore. Like he's gonna be my backup, but fuck that shit. I mean I wanna train up Moses, because I'm pretty sure that he's gonna evolve at level 16. And I want I want I want my motherfucking war turtle. <laughs> Maybe this episode, I don't know. When I was playing with Pokemon and me, a Pokemon of someone I passed by came to play with us too. E yeah, fine. Yeah, that's very interesting. Tell me more. There's, this is a cafe where shy people who still love to communicate with others. Wait, what the fuck? So it's a cafe for fucking failures? <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. Hmm, I see. Pokemon Miles. You can get those points by Street Pass on Nintendo 3DS as an electric. Uh, sir, I have a 2DS. Is that a problem? <laughs> Okay, what the hell, man? These guys are just giving me information. So this is still, like, the beginning of the game, apparently. Oh, look at that. The little woman. <laughs> she nearly hit me. Well, 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 I left the building. Oh, what's this? Do you know how many cafes there are in this city? I'm not sure, but I know that Cafe Soleil is next on my list. 
What the fuck is this, man? This is fucking giving me lag. Is, is this all? Is, is this all that, that the game can offer? Oh well, this is Vernal Avenue. Avenue de Vernal is what they would say in France. Yeah, from now on, I'm actually go I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna brush up my French. <laughs> it, I mean, it's just to annoy you guys around. So this is like a Pokemon Mart, the Stone Emporium. They sell they sell various stones. Oh, so it looks like I can actually make that guy evolve. I'm talking about the uh, Water Monkey. Uh, he doesn't know any good water moves, but I'm pretty sure that he won't learn any good mo any good water moves at that. So maybe I should get it. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's gonna be a big uh, mistake, but I need a good water Pokemon. So I'm gonna get this stone. I'm very sorry if you disagree, but I'll 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 just try and make some money. Uh, I don't know off screen or something. I don't know how to make money though, but hey, I'm, I'll maybe figure it out. Uh, so yeah, let's quickly make that Pokemon evolve. I know it's a bad decision to make him evolve right now, because he's not going to learn any new, any new moves, if I'm not mistaken, but he knows Water Gun, and for now, if he evolves, he's going to be pretty good, uh, I think. So, let, oh yeah, so let's give that to Tarzan. Make him evolve and do something that's more of a man. Although he's a female, I think. <laughs> I think it's a female Pokemon. Anyway, what? Tarzan's evolving. And now there's like this, this, yeah, this slow motion evolution process going on. Yeah, you guys get it. All right, there you go. What the hell does he look like? You should fucking go go get your hair cut, man. And this is fucking awful. Well, he does look like Tarzan. I mean, if you actually take a look at the uh, Disney movie Tarzan, uh, he actually has hair like that. Now let's take a look at his stats. I mean, he is an evolution now. Should be able to uh, at least pack a punch for now. Although he'll uh, although he'll he'll be stuck with the fucking water gun and scratch and stuff. Now at least he has 28 spe special attack, which is actually not even that good. But at least it's a backup because you never know what's gonna happen. Uh, you can call it an investment. And I I might be able to use this guy once. Uh, I mean. It's possible that my uh, yeah, that my Squirtle is gonna die due to some really stupid mistake. And if that happens, then I still have a backup Water Pokemon that I can always teach Surf and stuff. Anyway, what is this? I say, if you've come all this way, you've just got to shoot a trainer PR video. No, uh, what what the hell would I do with public relations? This sure is a big city. Oh, what's that? Is that a gym? Oh no, no, it, it's where I can shoot the PR thing. Oh, fuck that shit. Welcome, trainer. I haven't seen you around before. It's your first time. Yeah, everybody, you can jam 10 seconds of video. Let me show everyone how cool you are. Because playing Pokemon as a 19-year-old is cool. It's quick and easy. Want to try? No, uh, I don't want to try. <laughs> well, it only takes a moment. Yeah, no. Fuck that shit. I mean, I, why the hell would I want to do that? It's just a waste of time. I mean, I don't want to spend 20 minutes doing it. Oh, look at the twins. I want to talk to them. Oh, yeah, actually, no. <laughs> They're just talking to each other. I can't even talk to them. All right, what's this? The Pokemon Center. I should probably train my uh, yeah, I should probably train my Ralts now. I mean, he still has to level up 12 times before he evolves, and even then he's a freaking bad Pokemon. I remember trying to train him up um yeah, last time in a different Pokemon game, and he always died. So it's going to be it's going to be a tough it's going to be a tough thing to uh well, to make him evolve into slash guard of war By the way, I've made my decision about that. No, that's a hairdresser. I don't want to go there. Um yeah, by the way, I've made my decision concerning the, um, how was that? Come with me for a second. Yeah, sure, whatever, man. Well, as I was saying, I have made my decision. Uh, pretty much, if I manage to evolve him into Curlia, only then will I have to really uh, think about Gardevoir slash Galade. For now, he's actually a really good psychic Pokemon, because he's going to learn a lot of special attack moves, and his special attack gets a huge boost, so that's good, I guess. Uh, no, actually, special attack is normal, but at least it's not being decreased, so that's good. Uh, so yeah, he, he's gonna be a decent psychic Pokemon as a special attacker, and if I if I do uh, if I do get the stone to evolve him into Gallade, that means that his stats will also shift completely. And once I start leveling him up, then and if I level him up from from early on, so if I get a Curlia and wait and, and and store him in my box for for I don't know how long until I get the stone and then make him evolve. If I level him up, then the stats will shift and his physical attack will get better than his than his special attack and stuff. I'm pretty sure of that. So I, th I think that I think that that is a good decision. And otherwise, if I don't get the stone uh, early on in the game, then I am going to evolve him into Guard of War. But he's going to have to level up to level 40 for that. So I don't know how long that's going to take. Or actually, it could, be, it could be something else. Maybe it's not level 40. What's that? Oh, it's Lisandre and that Dionta. So get this, neighbor. Lisandre is the head of the Lisandre Labs, which created the Holocaust. 
a video messaging device. You already know about Dianta, right? She is one of the most famous movie stars in the world after all. I wonder what the two of them are doing here together. Oh, it's the ginger. You played a young girl so wonderfully in your debut on the silver screen. Wouldn't you rather remain young and beautiful forever and always play such roles? Uh, what a strange question. Why would I want to play the same old roles forever? Youth may be beautiful, but it's not all there. It's not all there is to life. Everything changes. I want to live and change like that too. So I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it your duty to be ever beautiful? Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. I would end the world in an instant so that beauty never fades. Wow, that's pretty fucked up, man. You sound like the type of guy who would who would get a girlfriend and then and then and then lock her up in your basement because because that way she'll stay yours. That's pretty fucked up, man. I can't stand the thought of the world becoming uglier. Yeah, but ugly thing, ah, oh, man. I mean, it's not because things get ugly that beautiful things don't start to, yeah, don't start to exist, and ugly things can always become beautiful, and the norm for beauty is actually subjective. So what is beauty? Is it is it your type of beauty? Oh man, I'm not even gonna try to go into a debate because this isn't this is an NPC character. Oh hello, Arno. This is Diancha, uh, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. She moves the multitudes with her excellent acting, which is to say, she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh. If only everyone were like her. What a beautiful world this would be. If you'll excuse me. And he just moves off. That's so fucking shady, man. That's really shady. Now, are you so beautiful? Let's take a look. Oh, man, you look fucking weird. I mean, my character is more fuckable than you are. Uh, uh, who are you two? I'm Colette. It's a pleasure. This is... Arno, right? I heard Lysandre call you to that. You both have lovely names. Oh, and you're both trainers. Don't your Pokemon look happy? I'm a trainer myself in my off time. Uh, I look forward to us battling someday. <laughs> that's that. That's fine. But I, I, I'd rather do something else with you, though. <laughs> I guess Pokemon trainers all battle each other, uh, no matter who they are. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something, neighbor. How about you and I compete to see uh, compete and see who ends up stronger? I know we set off on our journey just after you arrived in Vanneville, but we are neighbors uh, are, and having a competition with you sounds like fun. I won't lose though, just so you know. Wait, am I gonna battle you now? Uh, can I- can I try to take you on? Hmm, I guess Pokemon 3- wait, what the fuck? Didn't you want to battle me? I, th I thought you were challenging me! And then, and then, and then you just- You didn't have to cut me off! <laughs> Man, that, that's a fucking cock block. I wanted to kick your ass royally! And I'm talking about uh, kicking your ass uh, Soul Silver style slash slash hardball style. <laughs> Because I remember kicking kicking that guy's ass a lot of a lot of times. If you take the elevator, you'll reach the floor where they studied the Pokemon. Yeah, man. I really don't know where the fuck to go, man. Perhaps I should. I mean, I'd, I'd rather. I'd, yeah, I'd rather actually start uh, doing some training because my Pokemon are kind of under level. I'm talking about Ralts and Squirtle, but nope, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Now, how the fuck am I supposed to? Come on, man. This this is the Shutterbug Cafe. It's a, is it, can I battle people here? Because I want to battle people. Oh, well, you definitely don't look suspicious. When a professor, when a professional faux dog like me looks at you, I think you've never even picked up a camera, have you? Get it together. Go check out. What? You're you're a fucking hipster, man. This game is like the the epiphany of the hipster culture. This is fucking awful. <laughs> I want to get out of this fucking weird ass city. Now let's go to the yeah, let's go to the center. I mean, it has been standing there. Oh. There's a blackout. I can't even go there. I'm gonna have to take a different route. Are you for fucking real, man? So I'm not even allowed to enter places with a blackout. That's just fucking lame. Uh, man, this sure is a lot of stuff to explore. Ah! Blackout! Are you for fucking real? <sighs> All these buildings. I don't want to go there. Well, maybe. Uh, you know what? Actually, uh, oh, there's a guy. There's a girl I recognize there. I think. Uh, yeah. But uh, as I was saying. Um, can you guys tell me whether, I, whether I'll be missing out on a lot if I don't explore all these places? Because frankly, I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a huge waste of time and I've already been going for 15 minutes. A parallel swizzle is a very cool technique in which you, be, in which you swing your body left and right and skate as if you were dancing. Slowly move the circle pad in the direction you're traveling. There are, there are other cool skaters in Libya who talk to them and you'll, and you'll enjoy roller skating even more. Yeah. So are you the girl who gave me the roller skates? You're pretty darn epic. I still remember you from a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, so I can't, I can't go to the center through there. I have to go 
through the other route. And god damn it, I am going slowly. Wait, so how do I actually do the dance move? Oh, there's actually a little a little path here. Let's check that out. Oh, blackout. And the other guy was what? The other guy was allowed to pass and I'm not. That's fucking lame. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> I, I swear to god, I'm gonna kick some ass in here. Alright, so I've explored this route, or this part of the city, I guess. There are a lot of places here. Uh, I wanna find a Pokemon. Uh, what's that? I, I guess I should enter all these places. I, again, it's a fucking Kisaten. By the way, Japanese word of the day, Kisaten means coffee shop. I already explained that. Feel it! Feel the fair fruit, my admiration gathering here from all across the Kalos region. We are fruit fruit admirers! Fair fruit, sorry. And shot fair fruiters! Yeah, this is fucking hipster as shit, man. <laughs> I, sh I should just set this place on fire. I mean, this city should never have come to exist. Oh, well. Uh, all these people look freaking unimportant, but maybe I'm just a bad judge of character. Vernal Avenue. Avenue de Vernal. Oh, that's right. I can't even go there. Now, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Uh... Being stylish means knowing all about everything in Lumino City. Or Lumio City. We shall go everywhere in Lumia City, and the city will love us for it, darling. Whoa. These people are all, they all look the same, and they're all talking about fucking lame-ass stuff. Now you look important. Don't ever doubt yourself because of what people say, or because of the times. Oh, yeah, so she looked important, but she's not. And I can hear Facebook. That's just fucking amazing. I, I, I'm a, uh, oh, man. Deja vu, I guess I could call this. Ah, deja vu, it's a French word, get it? Give me a second, guys. I'll quickly shut my laptop in a fit of rage, as it is fucking fit. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. That always fucking happens. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm just not PewDiePie, but then again, PewDiePie also has stuff like that happening throughout all his videos. He doesn't get hate for that, and neither do I, so I'm not complaining. Alright, all these people are being fucking lame, they're being fucking stupid, and I have no clue where to go. I guess, I guess you could say I'm lost, but that could partially be because I don't know where the fuck to go. There are still a lot of trainers in the previous route that I haven't battled yet, so perhaps I need to go there. Um, is, is, can I also not go here? Oh, for fuck's sake, man! This is just... Uh, Alright, I am missing out on something. I need to go somewhere, but I have no clue where. <sighs> Again, a bar. And I have to, do, I have to, do I really have to talk to all these people? Oh yeah, no, I've already, I've already talked to this guy. He's all like, I'm gonna guide you through this game because I have nothing else to do. Because this is a fucking children's game. And I know that you're gonna get lost because you're fucking retarded. And he's actually right. <laughs> I'm actually lost in a kid's game. How bad can things get? Alright, let's, uh, I, guess, I guess let's start exploring. This is the second floor. Perhaps I can steal some stuff. Perhaps I could put my uh, my criminal cap on. Actually, I already have it on. Look at that. I mean, that, that, that just screams... Uh, suspicious <laughs> with the glasses and stuff. All right, what are you all about? There's a lot of garbage today too. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. I'm a garbage collector. I empty trash cans all over Kalos. Uh, okay, okay. I should go home now. Please let me pass. Okay, okay. I think he's actually looking for some drugs or needles in that. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. The spelling of Vernal is Vernal. Yeah, I can, I can already read it. I mean, it, it, the word is right there. Why? The and Estival is Estival, right? Yeah, I guess so. I'm documenting the facilities in Lumio City, but spelling is not my strong suit. Then why the hell are you documenting these things if you can't even fucking write? Alright, blonde people. Are these guys gonna be important? Let's take a look. Ugh! Don't speak to me out of the blue! My heart beats so fast that I may fall in love with you! Uh, well, that wasn't called for. <laughs> Stars shine at night so I won't work during the day. But it is the day. But yeah, technically you're not working. Taking a rest to do our best is very important. Yeah, I have a feeling that, that all these people are freaking incompetent fucks who shouldn't even have a job. I'm sorry, but this is fucking... Uh, this is fucking... Di uh, yeah, dismal. <laughs> this is really bad. How the hell are these guys even... Are, how the hell are these guys keeping a company alive? I don't know. I mean, there was one person who was writing an essay, but she couldn't even write. Then there was someone else who was basically a pedophile. Then there's someone else who just does... who refuses to work during the day. Wow, that's pretty cool, <laughs> that guy. And then there was someone else who was all like... Uh, I forgot, I mean, she, she, she was not even memorable at all. <laughs> uh, she was also being lazy, she was also being lazy and not working, that, that's all I know. Alright, so perhaps I do need to go here. Uh, it's actually the same girl. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's a different girl. 
But then why the fuck would, would, would a Pokemon game of the 6th generation have less versatile characters than fucking Pokemon Emerald? That doesn't make sense. You can jab to- yeah, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I mean, I have nothing else to do, so let's do it. <laughs> I'm literally not contributing to, to the plot at all in here in this episode. Uh, my style is... Energetic. I guess you could. I guess you could call it energetic. I mean, I start singing singing songs about shoving Pokemon up your genitals and stuff. You could call that energetic. That's right. Okay, stand right there for me. Yeah, that's great. Keep going. Now try acting a bit excited. Yeah, just like that. You got it. Good job uh, on the shoot today. I think I think this will be a great video. Wait. So what kind of video did you take exactly? Uh, why the hell is the screen black? Oh. Here's Erdo! Here I go! Wow. Wow. Are you for fucking real? This better not last for too long. I'll do my best out here! <laughs> Look at me wave! <laughs> this is so painful to watch! Yeah, yeah, fine. I'm not gonna restart that shit. So how did you like it? Cool, huh? I'll save this video for you so you can watch it again anytime! Oh. No, fuck that shit. I mean, what's actually the point of uploading this to your profile or whatever that was so that your friends can, can see it? I mean, everyone is gonna have the exact same fucking video with the exact same fucking character. Either male or female. And they're all gonna say, they're all gonna have the same lines. Here is, insert name. <laughs> Uh, nice to meet you! And then, then then she's waving. I mean, this is just fucking lame, man. This 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 is really something I don't support when it comes to Pokemon games. Now, this is a Pokemon Center. I don't need to do anything here. Now, there's a billboard there. <laughs> Let's wait until some fucking boobs pop up. <laughs> Alright, now, that's not gonna happen. Holo Clip receive- Wait, what? Holo Clip? Oh, shit. Now the fat guy can follow me everywhere. <laughs> he doesn't even need to be physically, be physically present. <laughs> so check this out! I mean, he's even distorting the time space. Are, I mean, are you looking at the camera shaking? He's even distorting the fucking play, the fucking space around me. I'm having right five right now, and it's just hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry and come check it out. Y yeah, I mean, I have no fucking clue where to go, but hey, maybe I'll maybe I'll maybe I'll whip out my map. Perhaps I found where I need to go. Let's take a look. Um, where is the map? Let's use the map. <laughs> All right, so I think this is right five. And I think I'm going there. So apparently the other half of the, of the city is not accessible yet. Perhaps, I'm guessing that I have first have to go all around the fucking map to, to, uh, to, to reach the other side of the town. And it's gonna be some, some fucking evil team stuff going on. Oh, there's a, there's a guy with a mustache and a pink suit. That's totally not suspicious. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to give this guy a Spanish accent, although I'm really bad at that. Nice to meet you, friend! They call me Mr. Bonding! Have you heard about Uthers? The expression of yours tell me you haven't! Don't worry! I'll tell you all about it! All powers are mysterious forces that have all kinds of useful effects. Uh, they can make your Pokémon stronger or even help you get more money. Any friends you have nearby will also benefit from them. They truly are mysterious powers. Let's get started. It's bonding time. Yeah, I'm bonding with a Mexican. <laughs> Ironically enough, my nickname is Pedro. <laughs> so I fit in. You received uh, Mr. O-Power. You can now use attack power and defense power. Attack power increases the attack stat and defense power. Yeah, man, that's totally obvious. That's not all the power can gain level the more you use them. Take a look at the instructions if you want to know more. The instructions. Well, then, I do believe I should take my leave right about now. Hope to see you around. <sighs> yeah, hope to see you around. I'm gonna call that guy Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lucario! What are you all about? Car! Wait, Lucario! Who the hell is that? Oh, it's a girl. Sorry about that, are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey, Lucario, actually no, I'm gonna give this guy a Scottish accent. Oi, Lucario, what's going on with ya? Then you get drawn in by the girls or or something. Car! Ugh, well then, seems Lucario likes ya. Yeah, thanks, man. See, Lucario can read people's orders. I guess something in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with the other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Whoops, sorry. I was on such a roll. Oh, I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Corina, or Corina, the Shalor City Gym Leader. 
If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. Uh, I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Wait, so am I gonna have to battle this Lucario? Oh no, he also takes off. I think that I'm gonna get this Lucario. Like, uh, it's, it's part of the game that Lucario is gonna want to join me. Uh, anime style. I mean, Ash always has that happen to him. Oh, I'm a dick who can't play, who can't even use my fucking Pokemon. Oh, look, there's a Pokemon hurt. Let's do the right thing. Let's do the right thing and help him. Oh, look at that. Pokemon, wanted, Pokemon wants to join my team. Which is actually similar if you if you draw the line uh, to girls. Uh, some people actually think that when you save a girl from a rapist or something like that, then that girl has to perform sexual actions with you. Some people actually believe that. And it's fucking weird, but hey. I guess I believe that as well, man, just kidding. <laughs> I am not into raping girls. It all has to be consensual. Which reminds me of the fact that I should add uh, to all my sexual remarks about having sex with Pokemon and stuff like that. You should always ask consent from the Pokemon before you insert it into your vagina or anus. I want to point that out. Uh, don't be mistaken. Pokemon may look like they're always having fun, but it's just that they're made that way. They're made with a smile, but they can still cry on the inside. So whenever you molest them, make sure that you have their consent, okay? Well, you obviously don't need their consent when you want to catch them, because you're basically just uh, because you're basically just ripping them out of their fucking natural environment and probably killing all their fucking children if they have any, because they're not gonna have their fucking parent around to protect them. But hey, that's not my problem. As long as you're not sexually molesting Pokemon, that's all. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, do a little bit of training, and then I'm gonna end the episode. So I'm gonna go for like two more minutes, and then it's gonna be over. And this is a Gulpin, which is a poison Pokemon. I already have a poison Pokemon, so I am not... I'm not gonna make that mistake. Uh, I don't know, man. Water gun. I'm just, I'm just leveling up my Pokemon a little bit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Moses. Are you for real, man? Alright, uh, perhaps I should change Pokemon. I'm thinking of changing to Samurai Jack, but that's probably not gonna end too well. So, Jabba. Why don't you go out and use your confusion instead? I'm gonna do some off-screen training with all my Pokémon, by the way. Uh, they're all gonna be like level 13 or something. I don't know if you can agree with that. It's not too over-leveled, but it's still gonna be somewhat of a challenge. Although lately it hasn't been too much of a challenge, but then again I haven't been doing too much battling. And I still need to go back to the previous route to battle all the trainers, so perhaps there I will lose some Pokémon. If I do, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, definitely be I'll definitely make sure to record, but I have never had that happen to me yet, which is a good thing. <laughs> I'm still not that bad of a trainer. All right. Apparently, the Gulpin gives a lot of it gives a lot of XP. That's good. That's really fucking good. Uh, also, my Jabba is nearly gonna level up, but my Tinky Winky is as well, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look. Am I right? Yes, he is. Only one more Pokemon. Uh, maybe he's gonna evolve. I mean, who knows? I mean, it could happen, right? <laughs> we should always be optimistic, right? Wait, why the fuck? What? what wait, why? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I was wondering why I could not sprint, but it was because I was using my, my fucking skates uh, instead of my instead of my feet. That's kind of weird, but hey. Anyway, this is a fur throw. Wow, that's actually a pretty cool Pokemon, but I have no idea what type he is. I'm guessing he's just a normal type, which I already have, unfortunately. So let's first go for a stun spore. Try and uh, do that, there you go. And hopefully he's gonna be paralyzed a lot, because I don't want to risk receiving receiving too many physical attacks from this guy because I think that he's probably gonna do a lot of damage since he's big and I don't know whether that's true or not I mean it might be that he just fucking sucks but then again I'm a first evolution and stuff so I am willing to bet that he can probably do a little bit of damage oh for folks seek I'm starting to miss ah there you go sand attack your sand attack has no power here <laughs> and you're dead, alright. That was, that was quite alright, he was like paralyzed most of the time. And I get, wow, nearly 200 XP from that. There you go, Tiki Wicca. You're fucking great. Alright, so far I'm liking the shit out of this guy, but it seems like my Pokemon is still not evolving. I think, he, I think he's gonna evolve before he reaches level 20, I'm pretty sure of that. Now anyway, thank you guys for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, I'm sorry that there are no new Pokemon added to my team, it, it, it can't always happen, I was, a little, I was a little confused in the town because I thought that there was actually some stuff to do there, but apparently it's just like a filler town full of filler stuff that's not even fucking important, uh, with filler stuff I mean three fucking bars where there is not a single shit to do, hipsters all over the place, 
people who look exactly the same all over the place as if there are only three fucking character sprites in the entire game. So yeah, <laughs> I guess that's uh, that's a big problem with this game, but I'm not gonna try to point that out too much. Thank you for watching and goodbye, and remember, always ask consent.